So as you guys can see, I've clearly opened the project file up. Um, wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We're actually making a brand new EP for you, and we're going to do it all live. <laughs> we're going to do it all live in a week. Did I share this my screen like... with you on Discord in like 480p 15 FPS last time? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do it. It worked out pretty well. Yeah. If you need it. <laughs> wow, that's pretty. Mm. Um, any I chatters? <laughs> it's like, it's like on a like old like scan line television. With, like, let's go. Giant box behind it. Let's go. Okay, let's start with the. Uh, let's start with music. I'd say <laughs> we start should... with music. Yeah, I think maybe this is controversial, but we should um, break down the burnt out EP. Mm, that's a bit of a stretch, though, isn't it? Maybe for you, fucking little little ass dude. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, Vori. Huh? Wait, do what? you have... I can hear myself through you, but I think it's... Wait, hold your... on. I, I think it's the my... stream. It's my... No, it's my open back headphones, I think. Oh, really? Hold on. Because there's, like, delay. Sensitivity. Here, is this better? Ah! Yeah, I can't hear myself anymore. Sorry, stream. <laughs> ah! Can you guys kiss... Real quick, just in case. No. What? What was this? What is this in case of? <laughs> for, like, for starters, Magent's underage, and that's all. That's, that's that's it. That's no. That's 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 oh, all. That, you, oh, that's, that's all okay. you need. <laughs> like, there's there doesn't need there doesn't need to be any other reason. And Magent's underage. The ah had so yeah, much yeah, reverb. Yeah. yeah, that's because you just you started like because I went loud, you could hear the the reverberation in my apartment. You guys can't hear it when I'm talking on stream because I'm using a dynamic microphone and I'm usually pretty close to it. But yeah. Hey Zia, how's it going? Yeah. Yeah, Charlie and his microphone are pretty close. They're uh they're pretty, they're pretty tight knit that pretty tight. Those two. Pretty fucking tight, bro. <laughs> dude, dude, don't even fib yourself. Dude. Do not even fucking, don't even stress. Me and my mic were tight. Oh no, no, you guys are, you guys are like. So as you can see, pod. this project is so old now that I have plugins that are not working for it anymore. <clears throat> Thankfully, we freeze everything. So, you know, in the wise words of Technoblade, we freeze these. <laughs> 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 All right, let's have a look at. Oh man, Hello. this is insane. Okay, fun fact about this project: I started this project like literally two years ago, like the first demo for it, and I just let it sit around for a while. So, I started. I just called it like Instupendo Copy, and then let it sit for like a year. And yeah. then, when Charlie and I wanted to start the EP, I was like, "Hey, here's this thing that's been sitting around." And then, and then we, yeah. and then it became Allo. So, um, I guess, well, let's start, start over here where it says start, can't do this. <laughs> oh yeah. Does it. <laughs> um, so the intro is just a recording of Magent playing guitar. Um, I actually had Magent re-record the guitar later on. Did I? Yeah. The, I did. Yeah. The metronome was, yeah. Cause yeah. the metronome was like super loud in the, in the mix. So yeah. To, Cause like, it's like. Oh, hold on. I'm going to share my audio with you as well. Imagine. I think you can hear it. No, it's fine. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. So, in the original, like, recording, there's a bunch of metronome, which is on purpose. But originally, that metronome kept going for the, in like, all the way up until, like, the end of the first chorus. And yeah. my managers were understandably peeved. They were like, hey, could you... <laughs> not do that and so i had well i asked imagine to re-record the guitars in stereo and so we have this beautiful why can't i hear other things is it oh my drums are on okay yeah beautiful little guitar with some uh frequency shifter on it um, but most of this is, I mean, this part is mostly imagined, so I guess if you want to talk about it. 
Yeah, so for this song, I was basically just copying, not really copying, but I was inspired by um, Clementine by Instupendo, mm-hmm. kind of like that vibe. So like it kind of like just like was inspired by the drum pattern, just you know, kind of like fully um, organic type get feel them, to it. Get them fully organic drums here. Oh, mm. Now there's a guitar too. Hey. Shut up, Professional guitar. Twitch streamer. Here it is. JView's sample pack type beat. Yeah, I think both Match and I overuse the hell out of JView's samples. <laughs> I use JView's a lot. <laughs> yeah. But he's good. JView's is good. They're good samples. They're really good samples. I will not apologize. I will not. Same. I will not apologize. No, you will not find me apologizing for JView samples. Yeah. Won't? Yeah. No, not, yeah. not happening. Yeah. Not in this house. Mm-mm. No. Someone else's house, maybe, but no. Not in this not, one. Not in this one. Anyway. So, yeah. I'm so, no the intro. Me. What? I think you've discovered the serum match. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, back in the day... Um, before I educated this fool, <laughs> the day <laughs> M- Magent used to use serum, and for some reason he used serum to make this lead, which is really simple anyway. But like, but anyway, let's let's get to that when we get to it. So let's just break down some of the elements here. We'll talk about the vocals at the end. So yeah. the intro, yeah, basically just has guitar and then a few little little. What's this? It's called thing. I think this is just Foley, right? Oh, no, this is me. Yeah, this is just like, I think it's just like rain type. Yeah. Sounds, yeah. Like a little. It's a little Foley texture stuff in the background and mm-hmm. uh, and some very basic little drums with, yeah. And then over the top of that, there's these little, little toms that Imagine synthesized before. This was all yeah. before I got the project. Um, some little sound fills. And this is definitely me because it's electric guitar. Yep. So I was just complimenting the guitar basically. You hear me breathing super loud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then there's this pad, which is a pad that Imagine made in Granulator. Yeah, this is just, I think I used um, Sound Toys effect rack and I just used one of the presets. I don't even remember what I like sampled. I don't either. But you, this is the processing chain because the, the pad itself is right underneath. And I remember I recorded it down. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, yeah, so the intro is pretty fucking simple. Then we get into the first, I guess it's the first, technically the first chorus. Oh, yeah, another fun fact. This song was instrumental for, like, most of its history. Yeah. Um, <laughs> poured his sweat and tears into that tom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Single Tom, God tier production. With bare hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that Tom, that Tom is the pride and joy of my production career. Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah. So this song was instrumental for most of its like history, I guess. So let's do quickly. Yeah. So the bass in the first chorus is really simple. So simple. <laughs> it's just literally just this. Oh uh, yes. That. Good old fashioned four one for you. <laughs> four one, and uh, the drums have a few little things added, but also fairly simple stuff. Just eighth notes, and like these rain samples at the start of, or, or noise samples at the start of each uh, two bars, or four bars. Yeah, a little downbeat noise for you. And then at the very in the last or like the second half, there's these shaker loops that come in. Mm-hmm. You added that little noise, like auto pan thing. The noise auto pan thing? What? Like 
Yeah, that was that was you. I think it's the the brown. Oh, clip. it's this one. It's this one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was you. Yeah, yeah. That's sick. I don't remember why I did it. I think it just fit. Um. Anyway, in terms of instruments, oh, there's another bass. What is this? Oh, it's just a oh, just a guitar yeah. layer to the bass. Oh, it's just a guitar. <laughs> just a guitar layer to the bass. Okay, yeah. instruments wise, we have this thing. Another synthesizer, another thing synthesized by Magent. Blood, sweat, and tears into that one. <laughs> Some noise. That's we do love noise. Birds. This That's is interesting. There's a lot of noise. This is you. What? Um, what the heck? It's like that. Oh, yeah, that'd that just be thing. playing my keyboard. Yeah, it's just you were just messing around on your keyboard and it just fits with the. It's completely random. <laughs> yep. But it sounds cool, boom, boom, so fuck boom. it. And uh, there's obviously the little lead that we talked about. And all that is layered with this one other sound. I think that was me? No, that wasn't me. That no, was, that was you. me. And my guitar and the vocals. And that's it. Like that's the whole that's the whole so drop. simple. It's First super, super simple. simple. Like if you literally if you take out the, the two guitar tracks, it's just like It's all guitar in this yeah, in this, in this chorus. All right, next. Oh yeah, yeah. I, the reason I did the shaker things is because I added these like these things. They're oh, like gotcha. it was it was like an A B A B just in the second section where there's like you know normal and then like dense like this pad that comes in. Yeah, yeah. All right, this is where I come in. This is where Charlie does the heavy lifting. So this is the break. No, I don't think I did. I think I think with all of these tracks, it was pretty 50-50. Um, <laughs> I just mean for the, the bridge section, oh, yeah. this is like all you. So bridge section, there's some typical, you know, doom stuff that's happening here. There's like uh, fucking roads. Yeah. And it gets me more. Is so good. Thank you. Uh, and it's layered with are these strings. Oh no, just this like bell thing. Is that atmosphere? Yeah. And there's a mm. there's a bass too. Yeah. So again, a very simple bass. Very quiet. It just adds a little bit of thingy. Whatever that <laughs> whatever that means. <laughs> Adds a little bit of thing. It adds a bit of low end, is what I was trying to say. Uh, and then there's whatever this sound is. Oh, that must have come from my Juno, uh, which I no longer yeah. have. But yeah, I recorded this little ARP. That sounds like the one I burnt out a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I used to use that progression in the ARPs a lot. Um, and then... Yeah, reversed it. So those three first layers together with the pad underneath, you get this sort of like... It's a very... I mean, it's already pretty full, but then down here we've got some more stuff. So I reversed the guitar. Or one of the... I just reversed and warped one of the guitar recordings. So you get that layer. Mm -hmm. Sounds in always interesting. <laughs> um, this is yeah. a weird pad that I made way, way back in the day. That I stretched and pitched. And then there's these little 
cymatic samples? <laughs> That I, yeah, and then that combined with this, like, it's kind of like a snap or like a snare, but it's the sample from a website that I sampled all the sounds off of ages ago, so you get this, like... Oh, that's what that sound is. Yeah. I love the tail of, like, harmonic content on that. Yeah. So those things, like, I think all of those really just, like, build up because it also sets up the second chorus for being halftime. Um, yeah. And there's also, obviously, a, a few drums. So in the first half, it's just basic, like... There's a boom, boom, boom. God knows why that's in the drums group. <laughs> <laughs> that's but, how it was when you work with Imagine, baby. <laughs> but it's in the drum group. But other than that, let me move that up. <laughs> the drums themselves are also yeah i use like some like 808 toms and 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 other shit and just did like a pretty basic like doom, doom. i love the boom boom yeah boom. this one yeah i like pitch bended one of them so it goes doom the first one goes like doom instead of just doom doom <laughs> doom it's like a like a water droplet, but really, really low. But yeah, so just some basic drums. Wally shaking, of course. <gasps> yes! This is in every track on the EP, I think. <laughs> I think we use a sample like in every song. Yeah. Yeah, and then there's a few more things that come in, including this cajon loop. Yo, the cajones on that loop, though. Sheesh! <laughs> Sheesh! <laughs> um... Yeah, all in all, still pretty basic stuff, just like layering of, of, of textures and, and shit like that. Um, mm -hmm. Then we get to the second Dropperino, as it's t titled, entitled here. <laughs> that was me, for sure. Yeah, because you... Cause I, like, I like this drop. We tried, like, it took a while to get this. Um, did you originally yeah, put in the ARP and I changed the synth, right? Yeah, yeah. I had like some because I was just trying to get ideas down because like it was like I think it was like one of the nights for me. So I was just yeah. like last thing I do before I go to bed. So just like yeah, getting ideas out. So this is like where the bulk of the production kind of comes in because like this is the most intense and most like production heavy section of the song. It's the second drop, which instrumental sounds like this. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we originally had uh, this this vocal here that I sang. The voice guy. Yeah. Before we added the final Emmy of vocals, in the second half of the second drop, I, there was me singing just like a melody. And it obviously went away when we added the final vocals in. But yeah, so mm -hmm. let's uh, go through the production of this. The drums, <laughs> I remember I added those big claps because I was like, we need some big claps. Yeah. But the rest of it was just you. So, um, I mean, yeah, you used some of the elements from the break. I just copied and pasted it, yeah. Yeah. I, actually, I also added, I must have added this as well, right? Because that's one of my samples. Oh, that was... Yeah, that was the um. I was like, we need more verb in the track. We need yeah. more like high end hiss type thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. So this is the drums on their own. There's a lot of verb in this. <laughs> yeah. Let's listen to it. I think I used the um, amplified like wooden snare. Yeah, and sound. you used the dumu kick. Oh yeah, I did. Um, is this from like my Patreon pack? I think so. I like yeah, the yeah. transient on it, so I just like popped it in there. But yeah, so 
Where do we get our samples? It depends. It really, really depends. I I used to get a lot of them from, or some of them from Splice, but most of them I get from websites like Samplified and um, Squad Pack and like other independent websites. But also I've been making music for almost a decade and I've accumulated like 100 gigabytes worth of samples <laughs> <laughs> over the years. And I've cleared a lot of it out. But yeah. Samples on the yeah. second drop. Well, 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 hold on. Fucking, we'll get to it, dog. Jeez. <laughs> hold your horses. There. <laughs> um. Jeez. Yeah. Okay. So in the second drop, Magent used once again uh, copied over the guitar and the pad, the weird pad, and edited some of that like chop stuff down here. But basically. Pretty much the same and the guitar comes in at the end of every four bars yep yep the bass is interesting this is like what really because originally you had this bass line but neither of us was really happy with it <laughs> right yeah i think i had like just one and then you beefed it up later but i think the pattern was there yeah Maybe. yeah yeah yeah, yeah, so I added, yeah, I must have added Yeah, the, you definitely uh, beefed it up. Yeah, but so... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty stuff. Um... That yeah, and then you just stuff. did a you, <laughs> man. That's pretty <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Damn, that was pretty stuff right there. You did a bunch of shit over here. Like, there's a bunch of like chops and random effects from like Telescope by Oh yeah, Tennyson, and like you did. <laughs> this is all you. Yeah. Also, the little chop thing is like... Da, 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 yeah. Da, da, so you chopped da, da. up a sample. I like this chop. This chop is sick. So that chop. Yeah. And then there's a bunch of chops down here as well. Oh, they, these are those me are you. for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> those, yeah, those are you. <laughs> those are me for sure. <laughs> Those are not something. That's some. That's what I do. Um, yeah. And then Magin also made up made this like ARP, but had a completely different sound for it originally. And then I put on this uh, lead that I'd made in Massive a few months before. Way better. Yeah, but all in all, it's just a bunch of, like, rant. And this is pretty much the case for the entire EP. It's just a lot of layering, right? And it's kind of hard yeah. to explain, like, what we were thinking when we were doing it because we weren't. <laughs> it's honestly just feeling it out, like, just making, yeah. like, brash creative decisions and just going with it. Literally. Um, and, like, each song basically just took a day and a half to make. Yeah, like the basic yeah, idea of then we refined it over a little bit longer after the week was over but yeah oh i guess I, we haven't mentioned that but the whole ep was made in a week uh if you look at the project mm -hmm. file names you'll see 0327 0328 0330 0401 and 0403 is the date that we put it all into a project so we could master it so yep. <laughs> between march 27th 2020 and um April 3rd. April, April 3rd, 2020, is when we made the whole, like, basic ideas for the EP. Obviously stuff... Oh, and that includes the original Burnt Out, which is now Waiting on You. Um, yep. But yeah. So that's, that's that. Um, and I don't think, like... Because I don't think we necessarily, like... Well, we kind of did. Like, we would make a song, and then, like, we started Burnt Out the day after we started Aloe. And by then, Aloe was basically once the song done. Was done. We had like, yeah. I think I think once we had like most of the song like, yeah. done, you cut out just now. Hello. Yeah. 
Hi. There's so much delay right now. Hold uh, on. Oh boy. I'm oh gonna, boy. I'm gonna call you back. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about this. Um. Hello. 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 Yo. There's definitely still delay. I don't know why. Oh really? Maybe not. Let's. I'll change the region Ooh. to you. Hello. There we go. Hello. Oi. Okay. There we go. Okay. Let me share my you screen with you again. My bad. Do you gain stage? Yes. That's a pretty essential thing to do is gain staging. But sorry, what we were saying is basically, yeah, we would finish one song. And I think the process was kind of like, as I was like finishing up the finishing touches for Aloe, you started burnt out based off of an idea that I sent you, right? Yeah, I think you sent me the... Um, the original, like just the, the something intro. about you. Yeah. Uh, oh, just... wait, you mean... Um... Wait, do you mean what we called onwards? Or... Yeah, onwards, onwards. Yeah, yeah. You sent me the intro, like um, just the piano and the synth arc. and piano. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. Let's talk about the vo Let's talk about the vocals now. So this is mostly me for sure, because Imagine didn't process the vocals. No, it's it's all it's all Charlie. <laughs> it's not mostly Charlie. It's all him. So. Um, we sent the EP to a label and we're not going to go into detail about that, but basically they asked us to get vocals on the songs and Aloe was instrumental. And we were like, okay, well, I was like, okay, well, who do I want to get on this EP? And I was like, obviously Emiya, because I love her and Duh. also likes her vocals. So I asked, I asked Anne to, to hop on and she did. And like within a day and a half, she sent me a demo back, which was, uh, just the demo vocal is here, and it sounds very similar. Stayed up until I saw the sun. I've been losing my track of the hour. It's basically the same as the final one, just a little bit less ref refined. Um, but she sent yeah. an, a demo back within like a yeah, like three days tops. And then I was like, cool, let's do it. And she sent the final vocals over. So I'll talk about the vocal processing real quick. So on the big vocals group, I've got a very gentle compressor and a very gentle EQ. Um, nothing really special there. On each of the tracks themselves is an auto-tune just to make sure that nothing you know, gets wacky. And on this harm track, <laughs> this center, central harmony track, I put a Haas effect. To, to make it wide, basically. Um, so most of the processing is right here. So something you need to know is that uh, the quality of your vocal is going to depend highly on the quality of the recordings that you receive. And Anne is really good at recording and like pre-processing her vocals. So like without any of the processing, it already sounds really good. I'll just turn off the lights, close up. There's some delay that is not like oh it's in the sense okay but yeah friends of my family they sound so worried when they check in up on me got these bags around my eyes take caffeine to stay alive so it's already well processed all I did was like refine it help from anyone so I put an EQ a deesser soothe to soothe out some of those s's some more a compressor a reverb that is at a very small size and very short and that basically just makes it a little makes the vocal wider gives it some space so if i turn it off you can hear the difference won't ask for help from anyone it just makes it sit a little nicer and then this thinner rack is for later in the track then on the sends uh on the choruses i actually added uh, this little octave up send that we have, which is like a grain delay yeah. that bumps the octave of any sound up. So I turn that on, and if you listen to it on its own, it just sounds like sounds like this. <laughs> Some chipmunk shit for real. But it just adds a little yeah. bit of extra stuff to the to the lead, like a little bit of high end energy. And I obviously also edited the uh, the return tracks. 
So that's that's the octave up automation. So on both courses, and then the delays or the echo is like in the second half of the chorus here and in all of the chorus here. So you get. I'll just turn off the lights, close the blinds. I'll be sleeping in. Lose control, rest my head. I am skin But yeah. That's it. The processing's super simple, and and it's because MES sent some really good recordings. Then, so originally, also here there wasn't this thinner rack, and I felt like this section, like the vocal was way too present compared to the instrumental. Close my eyes, to see things through. Take a so I put this this rack, which is a thing that I, I just have it in my like toolbox at all times, and it just sort of makes the vocals smaller and 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 progressively get bigger, basically as you can see here. So to like show the difference, this is without. Close my eyes. This is with. Close my eyes to see. So it's the a little thinner, a little bit thinner. The frequency, the frequency range is a little bit shorter or like narrower, sorry. And the width, obviously, I automated the width on the on the utility here, so it's a little less wide. And that's the vocal processing, and that's it. That's all there is to it. And uh, yep. it's a pretty simple song, although somehow it's over a hundred tracks. Don't fucking ask me why. How. <laughs> um, that's the Doom Imagine effect. Yeah, but it's a pretty simple track, truthfully. Um, mm -hmm. And that's that's Allo. So if you guys have that's any Allo. questions about Allo, the transitions in these songs between breakdowns is always so perfect. Thank you. Yeah, I'd I'd agree. I I would agree actually that the transitions in our in these in the songs on the EP are particularly smooth, like between sections. For sure. Um, I like I think the um like the noise auto pan thing like really brings it into the breakdown nicely from the first drop. Yeah. I mean, it's also because like, in this section we took out a bunch of stuff, which is something that, that I think both of us do anyway in a lot of songs, is like the last bar or the last two bars before we switch sections, just take out a, a bunch of the bass and drums. Yeah. Um, And most of the rhythmic stuff that just um, helps transition like easily. smoother yeah okay let's see these questions was there a phaser on one part of the vocals i think right after drop or you know two i don't think so <laughs> oops hold on There's no, there's no uh, phaser on any of the vocals. I just dropped the thinner rack way down. So in the breakdown, it's like up to like 50%. In the, in the outro, it's all the way down. So it's like very, very thin. So compared... I've been missing the faces of my friends and my family. And then, and then just some uh, harmonies with delay on them. Oh, with no delay on them. <laughs> the delay slowly comes in again here. So. <laughs> so the Doomu formula is just layering and combining random stuff together. Well, not random stuff. You have to, you know, you can't just, like, if you, if you try to combine a kick with a fucking horn stab with the, <laughs> with, with the intention of getting a lead, that's obviously not going to work. But if you, like, find a bunch of, uh, it's basically... I think it's it's like finding a sound palette. So you know like in in visual art, you get a color palette that you work with in your piece so that everything feels like it's all part of the same picture, the same world. In music it's the same thing. You you get a sound palette, sounds that fit together um and create sort of a, a not to say homogenous, but like, you know, a unified world, like a, a auditory world. And yeah. if you can find, uh, you know, a, a bunch of sounds or make a bunch of sounds that fit into that world, then you'll be set. You'll be set and ready to go. And I think the fact that we made this entire EP in a week and didn't try to drag anything out helped in making it sound 
like a whole like a body of work as a whole because um because we essentially had the same sound palette for all of the songs i mean slight shifts yeah. in each one but generally yeah, right. we were in the same kind of mood and the same kind of vibe <laughs> for each song and so we the sound <laughs> for a whole week for a whole week and so each song has a, a very similar sound palette um yeah and that's what makes it all feel unified so yes start you know you know placing down a bunch of sounds and and layering them and and shit like that but make sure they're all in the same well first of all make sure they're all in the same fucking key that's a good start and then <laughs> just make sure they're all within the same sound palette Something about that too is that like when you start layering sounds together, like sometimes you'll just have happy accidents that like you never yes. would have guessed that like two sounds that work together, and yep. that's like when you get cool shit. So happy accidents are the are like half of my music. It's um, so fun. it's like what makes producing worth it. <laughs> yeah, because um, for me, having been a producer for like eight years, almost nine. Holy shit, almost nine years. <laughs> No um, way. I know how to make music. You know what I mean? Like if you ask me to make <laughs> to remake a song, I can do it. No fucking problem. Yeah. Um, but that's not really fun because it's very, very predictable. When that's like the one thing that they don't tell you about knowing how to make music really well is that it, everything is extremely predictable and you know how everything works really well. And that's why you'll notice that a lot of more experience and like and I when I say experienced, I mean more years of experience not necessarily better at producing but producers with more yeah. experience um will really gravitate towards like anything that is um generative and random because it takes away yeah. that that predictability that's why i love the the inspired by nature shit in ableton 11 because I can't yeah. predict it. I can, I can, I can dictate the way that it works. I can help it figure out how to. I, like, I can shape the set, the settings of each of each device to, you know, push it in the right direction. But I can't predict how it's going to work, and that's fun to me because when it comes to just linear music making, I know how everything is going to work. I know that, like, oh, my hi hat, I'm going to need to high pass it, otherwise it's going to get muddy. Or maybe I don't want to high pass it because I like that mud, you know. And it's all like very calculated, and it's not like I make conscious decisions while I'm producing to do these things. They're just like habits that I've picked up over the years, and I know that these things work. And as such, it like makes producing just straight up producing it can make it a little bit yeah. boring if since you know what the fuck is going to happen. So that's why happy accidents and unpredictability and just r randomly dragging in a sample and trying to make it work. That's what's fun because exactly. Because you can't predict how it's going to sound. You've been producing as long Ditto as I've been playing that. Minecraft. I've been playing Minecraft since 2011, so a year longer than I've been producing. <laughs> Um, all right, let's move on to the next track, which let's is go. the fan and our favorite Cur Curd you. Oh yeah. The, the <laughs> project you. file name for this one is great. As you can see. <laughs> um, <laughs> Open my fart, Charlie version three. That's that's right, baby. Curd you. Um, man, I still love this song. I do. I still love this EP, oh, which is great. We same. Ta we've talked about this. I know. It's, oh man. We've talked about this. How we have. I think this EP is going to be one of the. For me, at least, as Dumu in my entire career, it's going to be one of the. Few timeless pieces of music that I've put out. Because usually you make music, and within like two months, you hate it. Um, or you've yep. just you've heard it so many times <laughs> that you're friend. like you're like this is cool but like it's not new to me anymore. But these songs, like even though we made them, I still find a new aspect of it to appreciate every time I listen to it. Even though we made them, so I know what's in the song, you know. I know <laughs> exactly. But yeah, yeah. This, this project song, is the biggest of the three, I think. As it's well, it's definitely not. This one's 101. The one before was it's 108. Not? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was huge. Never mind. Um, I found that audio and granular synthesis are to be very enjoyable for that reason. Yes, absolutely. 
Is the stream going crazy just for me? Uh-oh, what happened? Oh, fuck. I am... Holy shit, I just dropped every frame. Oh, no. The project file is too powerful. <laughs> oh, Kurt. <laughs> what is going on? Why is it... It's literally not connecting. Oh, I think... Okay, I think we're back. Oh, hello? Okay. Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Did you stop hearing me for a while? Uh, there's like a little bit, and then it like, um, like sped up and caught back up. Okay, okay. Should be back now. Okay, yeah. That was so fucking strange. I don't know what's what's up with that, but whatever. Um. Anyway, could you? Could what a you? song! So song imagine bits. started this. I wonder if I can find like the original file for it. What, what was it called? Probably open. My I think fart. it was called "Open My Heart" or "Open My Fart" or something. Fun fact: this song was heavily inspired by a Tennyson whip that he played on stream one time. So like, I basically just tried to recreate it and then like, damn, there's that was, no, the, that was the basis for the song. There's no, um, audio file. You only ever sent the project. I have an audio file. Hold on. I can find it. I'll send it in the discord. So send it in discord. I need to go to my old hard drive. Burnt out is too hard too hot to handle for sure also while magents is finding uh the burnt out project or burnt out original file i'm gonna be right back and have a bathroom break i'll be right back hydrate guys remember to hydrate <laughs> so true uh let's see where would it be here This the one? Yeah, yeah. We found it, guys. Do not despair. Um. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Imagine podcast. We actually did do a podcast with um, Toby Boston, aka Know You. Um, that's out there somewhere. What's up? Hey, I found um, two versions. I found one of them with just the drums, which is open your heart and then open my farts, the recreation. Wow. And I also found the first version of Burnt Out that I sent to you. That's just the drums. Okay, yep. so this is the first version of Could You Open My Fart. I... Could you open my fart? <laughs> Literally just had it in the box. So literally just that Tennyson copy and it turned into this beautiful song. Let's turn off the vocals. We'll talk about those at the end again. Um Yeah. So this whole thing is a lot of you and a little bit of me. What's this? I haven't opened this project in so long. Oh, is it really quiet? It is really quiet. Hold is on. it? Oh. Hold on. I can push it even further. <laughs> <laughs> I can push all the way up to 20. Cool. <laughs> this song's all really quiet. Way. This song's super quiet. Um, okay. Moment. So you had this You had this little guitar thing. Or was that me? 
That was you because I didn't have my guitar yet. You're right. So I don't know what what originally this was, but I chopped up this little guitar bit and added it onto the drums that Majin had. Some some doom loop loops again. You know how it be. I like a little offbeat glass thing. Doop yeah, doop. yeah, yeah. So this guy. <laughs> um, and then you had these happening as well, which were samples from some from. You uh, guessed it. Tennyson. Tennyson. <laughs> Yep. So those were you, and then we start into the butt up. <laughs> so you had some uh, butt up, butt up stuff in your in the Tennyson copy, and so then I ended up being like, yeah. "Yo, let's let's just do it." And so uh, make it the uh, thing. Uh, so there's magic. Did some form shifting too. Uh, 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 and there's mine here. Uh, 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 <laughs> I don't know what this folder is called copy. Oh, okay. It's just those. It's just the dot up and the and then the second drop the ba -da -ba -ba -da -da -ba -ba -da -da. And then there's a little yeah. Yep. Yeah. I like the yeah, yeah a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh what's it going on? What's it going on? Hey, do imagine can you <laughs> okay. Um <laughs> Uh, we're back with the Dumu kicks. Are okay. Dumu kick again? Yeah, you used another one. Wow. Maybe the same one. I'm a, I'm a Dumu simp. Is this the same one? I think it might be. I think it might be the same one. I just high passed it more. Low passed. Low passed. You know what I meant. Yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. There's so much to talk about with this song. There really um, is. So. Imagine did a bunch of stuff up here with like these drones. A filter and, moment. And like that's like synced with these um these sounds here. Like it's kind of offset. So you have like these have high end when when there's no when this guy's not in action and when this guy's gone this guy has high end. So it like trades spots basically. Damn, I really did that, didn't I? Yeah. And there's this thing, That's which is Lo-Fi Saw, which was used extensively throughout the EP. Oh yeah, this is like, I like this melody a lot, actually. That so this, really awesome yeah. This with, I'll play it with the original bass, because I want to talk about the bass afterwards. Mm -hmm. That's a different key. <laughs> I think I pitched it down it's fine. for this anyway yeah so there's yeah. like this little melody on on this sample that sounds really cool uh and layered in of course still the guitar thing the thought up but up and this is like just me singing some melodies over the top yeah with a lot of noise where the hell was that coming from <laughs> these are your speakers these things in your... I can hear like the rest of the track behind it. Yeah, maybe. Um, all right, let's talk about the. Let's do a little bit more about the drums. So drums, yeah. Imagine oh, we have this little fill. This is me, very happy with it. That was little, you. Little. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. So imagine, t t walk us through the the drums. Yeah, so the drums are just like a little nice um four on the floor type beat. Um, yeah. there's a rim in there, I think, from Squad Pack Peak Only. Yeah. I think that's where it's from, maybe. And then like, layered with another, another thingy. It's a count. Um, oh, a count, yeah, yeah. That's the hi-hat, just like a little bit of, a little yeah. bit of groove to it. Um, then you yeah, have they're just like four on the floor. Stuff. Oh, what's this? I'm the fuck on. This is all the percussion. Oh. Okay, Magic, go off. Yeah. Oh, yeah, little bongos. I think the way this that this project evolved is I made the drop first, and like yeah. did all percussion sequencing, and then just like stripped it away for the other parts of the song. Oh, this thing is really cool, actually. Those little like trading trading yeah. fill things. 
These I think guys. that was like I did like some weird thing with little altar boy you, and um and in beats the mode beats mode because you, you pitched no 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 so you pitched it down thirty two semitones and then used uh complex pro and fucked it fucked with the formants there and then you fucked with then you put non linear reverb and then you fucked with the formants again yeah and then got that sound which is like yeah slight happy accident type of thing like that's that Larry would never have come about like any other way. I mean, there's this loop, perk loop that you put a flanger on. Yeah. Wait a second. I think that was from, um, that was the Cajun loop from Aloe, maybe. I think. Could be. I just got a. Listen to this man. Fucking. I, I just got a, a, a notification. Oksami. Oh! Eric's here and he's saying, listen to this man. Yeah, listen to me. Oksami. What's up, Eric? Uh yeah, so that's 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 some of the percussion stuff. I mean, Imagine's kind of nuts when it, you know cracked on the perks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Imagine's kind of cracked. I mean, Imagine is literally a percussionist, so yeah. it makes sense. Imagine is cracked on the perks and has sick drums. Um, so. Uh, and there's like the little toms that are like yeah. here, right here on me. See you flex on me with your samples yes sir so the bass we originally had this contact bass which is in a different key right now but it's this so contact gross. like i mean it's still like it's, it's the, the default bass it's okay i guess but so Same here progression here you had like this thing We had this thing and I obviously I couldn't play that. So I just did a slide and it worked out way better, like over here. For sure. So this is just my electric guitar that I pitched it down an octave. And then put some OTT air reverb shit like that on it. And you just get this this really nice smooth bass out of it. Yeah, this slide was really sick. Um, yeah, and so the only element left that we haven't talked about is the uh, elephant, the element in the room. <laughs> the element. In the room. <laughs> it's the lead. Um, the this guy. Lead. So this was me. Yep. So I made the lead in massive. It's a it's a pretty common patch that oh fuck it if it, it's gone <laughs> I gotta refreeze it it's a pretty common patch <laughs> that I use which is just using like low pass two and a bunch of trigger randomization and um, on a, on a saw wave basically and then I put an echo afterwards the reverb and the OTT don't really matter they're just there to fill out a little bit of space most of the effect here comes from the echo which you can see the echo time and feedback and dry wet are all automated over here. And yeah. so basically, so I, for instance, for this one, the dry wet comes up, the feedback goes way up for that one note and comes back down and the time goes slower, which is why the pitch goes down. Uh, for, for here, same deal. So it's just me playing with delay. Just me playing with delay to get that lead. And then like a lot of the movement that is in it comes from the fact that I'm using a lot of trigger random within massive. So it's randomizing different parameters every single time a note is hit. And that's what makes it feel so alive. Like it feels like someone's playing it like on a keyboard with velocity exactly. and and like maybe even singing a little bit, you know, but yeah, so yeah. that's 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 how the lead came about. It's 
It's got such a fucking like magical feeling. This song, I don't know. Oh, man, I love it. Um, next up, this bit. This is also this is on this bit. Bit. I'm very happy with this. Um, I used a this lot of elements. This is Charlie's like magnum opus. This is my magnum opus on the EP. This is this is where I shine. So it's this this part over here. <laughs> So I started by rearranging the drums a little bit and the bass, and so I did this like. Wally? Wally? Where is he? There he is. <laughs> Where is he? So I just rearranged the bass and the drums a little bit, kept the lead in there. I think I, I made the lead for this section originally. Yeah, and then, and then I it over then to I moved it over chorus. to the other section. So it was like it was supposed to be like an interplay between the chords and shit and the lead, which is why a lot of the places where the lead is, you see, there's no bass or no chords. Um, and so originally I just had bass and like a few. There's this radio noise, which is from that's like Magent sample that I, that I put in there. What's this? That's from, um, that's from Waiting on You. Really? Yeah. What is that? It's the, it's the weird, like, in the, in the drop. Oh, of, yeah, yeah. Is it like the reverse, like, synth yeah. thing that I messed yeah, around yeah. with? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No so way. I, so I didn't I, know that was that. Yeah, so I took it in and I, like, I automated the filter so that it would be part of, like, it would, like, fit in with the chords, basically. No way. Also, Oksami asks, can he have the rim shot? The rim shot, sure. Um, <laughs> so originally, yeah, I just had the drums and the bass, and I didn't have chords yet, but I did have, like, these pads all layered on top of each other. <laughs> yeah. So, like, those are all, so there's this t Tennyson pad. But then all three of these are, oh, sorry, two of these are my pads and this one pad isn't. But so. Like pads Charlie made, not like just samples he has, like he made these pads. Yeah, so these two pads are sam or pads that I've made and then this is a sample that I had. Um, and I really like the movement of them fading in like that. So I remember literally automating like a utility on the chords so that they would fade in as well. Oh, I didn't know that's so simple. I also Ooh, really like- I didn't know that was there. Yeah. I also really like this thing here. I left that there on purpose. It wasn't there originally, but I like that it adds, a, it like fits in with the, this little note in the bass here. Yeah, like a little transient bit. That's yeah. so cool. So it's all just so this is definitely like a lot of happy accidents and like very on the spot thinking and ideas. So I can't really tell you how I thought of these things, but yeah, they're just there. So this is just a chord synth, it's just like a basic operator with some FM and then uh erosion and noise, which Magin liked, so he saved it as the preset called dope. <laughs> <laughs> that's these yep. chords there's a little arp underneath which is basically the same patch the dope patch but with an arpeggiator and a little bit of ping pong delay okay porter robinson you're right it's very porter <laughs> um and this bit here i really like in the pads because i essentially matched the the pitch of the pads to the pitch of the bass because the bass kind of goes up there and then back down. And so I made the pads go. And that, that's, yeah. that's just fun to listen to. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's just a bunch of those little elements together. The, the art from the other song, the chords, the pads, and the lead. And they all just kind of play off of each other. Like I said, this, is, this part was made very much like I was in the zone and like it just kind of happened i just had these ideas on the spot and i just went with them just i was like i'm not going to think about it i'm just going to do it and i'll and i'll you know mess with it later 
and so you just get this cool. And the second time the pads go up an octave, this is interesting. So this song is based oh, yeah. off of triplets. Right? The, the, it's like the, 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 it's, it's like, like swung a little bit. It's I don't think swung it's triplets, a little bit. It's, just swung. it's not quite triplets, yeah. but it's it's swung a little bit. But so for the for this um uh, I did follow the triplet grid over here. The boom boom. Um so this is the triplet grid as well. But in the second one, the second time it happens, I didn't have the triplet grid on, so I just put it on the regular grid, not really thinking of what was going on. And so it kind of gives it this like like tripping over itself kind of feeling because it's a little bit too fast, especially compared to the previous one. Yeah. Um, and like, I think it would have been, it would have ended up sounding like more natural if I moved this over like by one or something like that because we tried it and it and it just didn't feel as good we just like the way it sounded before it was just yeah because like it like just tripping kind yourself, of yeah. tripping over it yeah the video will be up after the stream yes anyway onto the bridge this is also mostly me um yep. So I was fucking around with these guitar chords and then accidentally played a, a modulation and it sounded cool, so we kept it, so. <laughs> Here it comes. There it is. Mm -hmm. This was on my old guitar. Yeah. The, this was before I had the Squire. This is mm. that one random, like, Suzuki one, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah the 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 breakdown's not very complicated it's basically just that guitar some sweeps a few little texture bits whatever this is i don't think i did this maybe i did oh i, I think can't i did hear it yeah it was my juno oh yeah and then i pitched it down yeah just very basic stuff. Guitar, a little bit of texture, some melodies, some pads, and then we're back into the verse, and that's basically the same thing as the first verse. It's basically literally a copy of the intro, just with a few more drums, basically. Like a kick on each yeah. two, every two bars, instead of no yep. kick. That hasn't changed. <clears throat> the first half of the second chorus is also identical. The second half is where we got a little bit uh, different it's called the cordoning <laughs> the cordoning <laughs> yep i named it that <laughs> so um because i was playing around with it and i was like basically you know what? i think now's a good time to start bringing in the vocals because that's kind of what happened first yeah 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 okay so let's talk about the vocals real quick um the, <laughs> the processing on these are a little bit weird oh yeah <laughs> because we this was like we were still kind of figuring out how to use our vocals and shit but so there's Majin's verse which is titled sang it bitch because i remember i i sent him a message to just sing it bitch and he <laughs> came back at me with a me with wait I, I think i can find it hold on sing it bitch <laughs> no sang it bitch what? It's, what can I find pop. it? Wait, what? Oh, it's sang underscore it underscore bitch. Yeah. It's not fucking popping up. Are you kidding me? What? Damn. Anyway, I just told Madden to sing it. And um, this is like my second or third take because I had a take that we used like when we mastered the EP, like for the first, ta first yeah. take. And then it's we like came scary. back to it in like July or something. And I wanted to do another take because I didn't like how it sounded. Yeah. So this is like my third take or something. Uh, yeah, there you are. Hey, it's <laughs> nice to see you. And her is... <laughs> hey, imagine. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Love moment. Um, That's really funny. Yeah. So, 
I, I can't really talk about the processing on these because it's kind of fucking whack, not gonna lie. But basically, this is what it sounds like. Ties to be yourself. Oh, we had bad idea one. So this was, we really struggled <gasps> with the vocals on this. No, song. yeah, it took us like two hours in a voice call, just like both of us being muted to figure out <laughs> vocals for the song. Yeah, so this was oh, like, this is like, just let me be. Yeah, yeah. This is no, this is the one before that. So, <laughs> oh, no way. There were multiple iterations. So this was my. First, like, chorus idea. It's not good, but you can listen, you can hear it. So please just let me be. I'm tired of trying to find your speed. You know I'm trying hard. You gotta give me more. But please just let me be. So that was version one. Uh, trying to yeah. tie to remember that tied of China, tied of China, try to China. <laughs> we really struggled with that one. That was I cannot pronounce that for the life of me. Yeah, this was iteration two. Yeah. Please let me be. I'm tired of trying to find your speed. So will you please let me be? Let me be. Let me be. Please let me be. You know I'm tired of trying to. Sort of getting there, and then Imagine came at yeah. me with with this masterpiece of a chorus that he wrote, and uh, that's what we went for. Could you keep a secret with our time? So the chorus. I, think I figured this out in the shower. <laughs> yeah, the you did. You did. For it. Yep. So the cor. Where the fuck is the chorus? Is this is this the whole chorus bounced? Could you hear? Oh, I think is. you bounced it down. Yeah, that's yeah. the entire chorus bounced. So over here. There's Magin's takes, which are in in the center. Holy shit, I need to turn all these tracks back on. Yeah, yeah, Leslie, we were in a Discord call for the whole week. We just, like, hop on a Discord call at the beginning of the day and then yeah. work on everything. Basically that. Uh, yeah, so Magin's take in the center. Could you keep a secret with our time? And then there's me on the Shout side. Shout out to Autotune. <laughs> Could you keep a secret with our time? That's me on the sides. And that's basically the, the, the structure of the chorus. But yeah. Um, then, okay, so this is where we get to like the second drop. Um, yeah. Where's my verse? Why is it muted? What the fuck is going on with these tracks? <laughs> I have this... no clue. Help me out, don't wanna run. Oh yeah, I stole the melody from um what's it called? Bon Appetit. Oh Bon Appetit, yeah. So get bon your hands up, I can't yeah, get the na 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 Um I took that here. Could I give you a little time? Yeah. <laughs> but then I changed it. Just a little time. I know your match will ignite. But yeah. Um, so second chorus, we were like, okay, let's do like a double length chorus, but in yeah. the second half, we want it to be bigger and like have more stuff. And so we actually sang like, um, falsetto. Yeah. So there's like the original takes, right. That are here. Could you keep a secret with our time? And then on, in the background, we're also singing like up here. Could you keep a secret with our time? So we have Ma Magic on the right. Could you hear a secret time? Big up. That was hard for Wait, me to Wait, where is this? Could you figure out what happened now? That note is crazy. Could you figure <laughs> out? And uh, this guy's got auto-tune for real. <laughs> and then my <laughs> take sure. as well. A bunch of auto-tune. Could you keep a secret this one was that hard. Up there. That 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 note was hard for me. Could you figure out what Could you figure out? It's so fucking high. It's tough. For me to fall alive. Um, but yeah, so we wanted to have those in the background because they just add like a whole dimension of like togetherness for some reason. Right? Yeah. Could you keep a secret with our time? And so with that, we just wanted the second half of the second chorus to feel like... Payoff. Like payoff, yeah. Like, 
everybody's cl- you know like clapping on the off beats and shit at the show or whatever yeah, but yeah. like that right. kind of moment uh and yeah. and i thought a good way to do that would be to add these chords uh on top of the bass so it's super basic sound super basic chords but it does so much like comparing so much. i mean there's obviously some other changes like we added on top of the butt up butt up over here we added these yeah i think you came up with the melody for them and yeah then just added mine um yeah so we just added those on top and that combined with that's literally it like that combined with the chords is like the addition and then like some additional symbols and shit but um in terms of the instruments that was just those two and it just makes like a world of difference between and yeah and uh yeah so i mean i don't know what else to fucking say it's it's all just there you know i think that in this song especially like there's just this weird like quality that like the sum is like greater than everything combined yeah like this song in particular i agree i agree that like for sure greater than the sum of its parts because like everything in here is fairly simple and like there's a lot of stuff but uh, most of it's percussion <laughs> like a lot of these a tracks of are it. are drums in terms of instruments and bass there's really not like there's one bass i mean there's three but like there's ever only ever one bass playing at one time in a section one lead and like a couple background elements and vocals and that's it and uh yeah. the song is definitely bigger than the sum of its parts but yeah so you just get this big with those chords and pads and extra harmonies here added with on top of the vocals with the high end you just get this like sense of like yeah Could you hear a secret with the time? that's way too loud because the fucking this folder is on Could you hear a secret with the time? And originally, the song went to the outro after this, but my managers made a point that people would probably want to hear this section again. Yeah. And so I was like, okay, well, let me... I wasn't convinced by it because I really liked the this being the end of the song, but I was like, okay, let me try... I'll just try and put it in at the end and see if it works. And I think it did. So we kept it in. Um, yeah. But the, the, it's, yeah, like I, it's little, identical. You like the little thing on top for the second drop i remember like oh yeah tiny, yeah like, i added i added this sparkle thing little it's just off my guitar recording but fucked up yeah that's the only difference is i added that on it so like it's not here and it is here What a cool section. And then the end is very, very simple. Just some pads. Uh, this, this, this one sound here. And then these labs roads just doing. Dun, 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 dun. So peaceful. Yeah. Because this was originally the last song in the EP. It was. And so this was going to be the end of the EP. Um, but yeah, that's basically, that's could you. So if anybody has any questions regarding could you, put them in the chat. We'll answer them. If not, we will move on to onward slash burnt out. And we will show you the original version of burnt out. <laughs> yes. The world needs to see it. It really does. I also think I'll to see the company promo video. Yes. <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out a piano cover of Could You. You should. You should do it. That'd be so sick. Uh, here's the the chords. chords are pretty simple. I could send them to you if you want. Here's the chords. Have fun. <laughs> Here they are. <laughs> Take a screenshot. Take a picture Take of the last one here. Real quick. Okay, underscores. Anyway, all right, let's move on to Burnt Out slash Onwards. So yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I think this is the final version. Should we open the old version first? Yeah. Let's open the old version first. I also sent the first version ever that I ever did stuff on. Yeah, so this Burnt here out. that I'm going to play is the first version that Imagine did stuff on for Burnt Out. Oh, we had that violin at the beginning. Yeah, they'll do. Yeah. Wow, this is long. Yeah. Is it a big project file? I can't remember. Like how, I don't 102. Know, like how big is it? Okay. Dang, every track on here is over 100. Yeah. Yeah, this is V1. <laughs> really rough. Larry, just the drums and like some of the melody stuff. Yeah. yeah. Me yeah. trying to copy laxity i think yes it was uh your pluck <laughs> is still here i think it's this one i just made it shorter let me boost yeah. this up again but i added my own pluck underneath which is a massive patch similar to the lead in the previous song that's huge just like patch randomized Insanely shit. large patch i love this patch it's so sick See you later, Tsuyoshi. But yeah. It's so, like, rubbery. It's very rubbery, for sure. Okay, let's talk about the intro. So I sent Imagine essentially this bit. That's, that's all I sent was, like, this. Yep. I wrote these chords in, like, school. They're, like, very typical pop chords. And they never appear again in the song. Like, <laughs> ever. <laughs> No, nope. <laughs> in any version of it. Um, no. There's your Juno too. Yeah. Yeah. So those two are my Juno. So there's the ARP and this lead. Um. That's basically it for the intro. <laughs> like, that's really it. simple. Yeah, that's it. Then it just goes. There's into, a little bit of percussion that comes in, but that's it. Uh, yeah, it's it's like here, it like comes in very slowly. And then it goes away. Hey, what's up, Kyle? Midnight Kids is here. Yo. I gotta VIP him. It is almost midnight where I live. It's on noon Hogs 25 man. here. Anyway, so moving on after we did that. Oh, there was also this little sound that I think you added. But the, but the, but the, but the, but yeah. Um, I maybe, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know. first half of the first drop was really simple stuff. Once again, just the drums that Magent did. Literally nothing going on here. So simple. The plucks are the main thing. Yeah. There's these bass plucks. The bass. Which are, I think, just the same plucks. <laughs> just lower, yeah. Just lower. And then this loading sound from the switch. <laughs> yep. That I, that I quantized. But yeah, loading sound from the switch, the plucks... And, and that's it. Then it goes into this section where <laughs> I essentially took Imagine's sort of concept for a slightly more lush and bigger section, and I beefed it up. Wow, this version of this, this is like an old version of the project, so it's like the mix isn't as good. Not so mixed. actually, <laughs> yeah, let's let's just go straight into what, what I came into this project, version of the project to sh show people, which is the old second half of the song. So yeah. the old second half of the song, I'm just going to play it in full, I think, right? Yeah, yeah. 
So burnt out, in case you're not aware, hold on, I'll pull up real quickly the final version for people who haven't necessarily heard the EP yet. But burnt out, the second so, half of the song. What are you song, doing? True, go stream it. Second half of the song is like. Basically, like this. That's what the second half of the song sounds like. Similar to the first half, but just with a bit of variation. That was not at all the case when this song first came around. So you get, this is what the second half sounded like, and I'll play it in full. still the outro it is right no no it's different well we had this outro too yeah the little chord there and then we have the transition into what would be waiting on you because yeah. originally this was the first track on the ep indeed and now it's the last one but yeah so this one oh man i was it was so cool to make and like there's so many drums i did so much work on the drums dude i spent like a whole afternoon just making like a drum bit i was really happy and i like like the things that are in pure white are things that um imagine wanted me to put soothe on but yeah, yeah you, i just didn't have soothe you added like all of these little like breaks and shit and then i added um well there was this this thing was originally me which is just like the kick doing the pitch thing that you did in fucking long weekend <laughs> by hand but manually except, except i did it in midi <laughs> So that combined with like a few of these like loops that I added in as well. Oh, also Minecraft Stone. <laughs> so oh, this, how can we forget? So <laughs> in this bit, there's like a kick type thing in the background. It's just Minecraft Stone samples. Just low pass. No, 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 no. It's straight up. Wait, there. there's nothing. No, no it's way. Just an EQ. <laughs> Just mining, mining stone in te in tempo. It is very colorful because I dragged <laughs> each sample in individually and then just like I did. I think I did a sequence that was just like one through six and then just repeated it. And so you yeah. end up with like, or maybe not exactly. It's like that, a starburst pack. <laughs> it really does. Look at this. It looks like a gummy worm. <laughs> it does. Um. You zoom out. Yeah. Then then. That's funny. You know these little percussion sounds here. These are you. Yeah. I remember really liking the guitar thing. Yeah. This thing. And like, so you added a bunch of drums in, but I added these little snares that did a little. Oh yeah. Because I really like. I really like the marchy marchy sound of that. Where are your drums? Holy shit! There's so many. Snore. Snore. So I added those, but everything else other than those and the stuff that I showed at the bottom is all Magin, and Magin just went off on the drums, just... Yeah. With the fucking... I 
And like there was so much going on. Like whatever this it is. Really was. That was from I, the first round. Yeah. And That was you. Yeah, it's like guitars. But yeah, it's just I really love this version of the song as well. Especially with like the it fucking is a bit... Sorry, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say it is a bit busy, but like still super sick. Yeah, it's it's for sure busy, but this this version of the song will always hold a special place in my heart, especially this little section here. <laughs> the soda bit. <laughs> it's so sick. We I don't know how we thought like why we wanted to do this, but just like soda fill. <laughs> I like how it's like four samples to get the soda sound. I know, right? Um, <laughs> but I don't know why we wanted to do that, but it just sounds super sick. Anyway, all right, let's go into the final version of the project. And uh, it's... talk about that. The soda fill does sound epic. So true and factual. Absolutely. It do be going. Raw facts. Real facts, no fake news. It'd be news. busting respectfully. Respectfully, soda popping. Hey yo, damn, is this is that soda fill the patriarch of the family? Cause it is popping. <laughs> <laughs> Award for best joke on stream. All right, final version of uh, burnt out. Okay, holy shit, there's more in here than I remember. This final version's. A Oh, it's less tracks. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Duh. Yeah, because like, uh, you have to take out all the drums. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, so the basic stuff here is still the same. Just mixed better. Uh, and then this second half here is where I brought in sort of more... More Things. lush elements. So... In terms of the drums, I just switched the kick up and added like a hi-hat underneath it. So it would like distort in a nice way. So it went from like, I also changed, I actually changed all of the drums. I just, I kept your snare in the background, but I don't know. Your snare's the same. Yeah. 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 Wally shaking. Naturally, literally, in all three of the songs, confirmed. That was the thing that we said at the beginning, right? We need to put Wally we shaking. Did. We're gonna put Wally in every song. Yeah, and we did. <laughs> and we did. So yeah, I changed up the drums, added some percussion stuff like that. I also filled up. Oh, I changed the bass in this section from a plucky bass. Although the plucky bass is still here, but the sub is like continuous. Yeah. So nice. I love that fill. Yeah. Oh man. Um, and I added these leads, which were inspired by your leads, actually in um, Allo. The little. Oh really? Yeah. Like the little the serum leads mm. that you had in Allo. Yeah. And. I love that. Melody. But yeah, those were inspired by the aloe leads that you did. Then just some pads, extra harmonies. That's you, you did this. Yeah, that was me. It's just, I think just an inversion. Yeah. The chords. And that's basically it. Um... <laughs> so I mean, crunchy in this there's just obviously some more like background elements and stuff but yeah um then we get into the new second half and this this whole bridge break section is all me actually this whole second half of the song ended up being me right like i used elements that you, you that you did but yeah. because we had such a short time to to fix it i just you did most of it yeah, I didn't have any ideas for it, so I was just kind of like in the Discord call with you and like, yeah, give me a second opinion if you had something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, so I came up with this chord progression on the guitar. Let me turn off the vocals. 
some of the elements from the old song are still there, like the stone. Although now it is yep. low passed. And there's also this pad that I can hear that's going poop 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 with this. Yeah. That's still there. So that's mm. there, and then it just kind of moves in with a lot of pads that Majin had and, and added in the old version of the song. The chop comes back here. So. And this is where the vocals happen. So obviously, yep. oh, this is a version of, uh, did I ever send you these? My friend Norell did vocals on this. And, I think uh, I heard them, yeah. To find a spark to say goodbye. I, 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 I prefer my vocal. Um, yeah, if it's a theme of the EP, it better. Yeah. So my vocal here, I just came up with the lyrics. I don't remember fucking when, but um, basically just talking about being burnt out. Hence the name of the song. Uh, Stuck for a while. <laughs> this version of the vocals, but yeah. Um... <laughs> That and then it goes into a little fill that goes exactly. Oh, you know what? It, this is actually your fill from Dimmodomed, but I, I um basically like <laughs> really yeah, yeah. So hold on, if I do this, right, right, but I like. Uh. I, I I did like beats warping and I chopped out this part specifically so I could make it preserve 30 second notes instead of just 16th notes. Yeah. Yeah, and then it goes into... Oh. And this was essentially just the beginning of the... Like this was originally here in the old version of the song. Like that's just this part. Right. With including this like... All the same percussion. Yeah, and then the second drop is basically the same as the first drop, except the chord progression is different. So, yep. That, and then there's these acoustic, imagine acoustic guitars that are added in. There's this chop that I added in. That is a chop from. I think it's a chop from the guitar. Yeah, it looks like it. Mm. And it's. That makes sense. And a lot of the reason why it sounds so weird is Little Alter Boy. Yeah, and that's yep. just. Second half of the chorus or second half of the drop is once again just the same thing as the first drop but with a different chorus and the end of the song is just guitar yeah. is it the same progression it is yeah but i i, I played it differently i think because i wanted it to start gentle and end also gentle it's a little outro uh, like yeah. guitar Really nice way to close out the EP, I think. Yeah. And that's the EP. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. <sighs> wow. Wow. Um, yeah. Still pretty crazy that this is out. Because... And doing so well. <laughs> and doing well, yeah. Because, uh, I mean, it's been in the works for a minute. Like I said, literally, we, I think we announced it like exactly a year after we finished it. That's very possible. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know, man. What a crazy, crazy little thing this was. Right. Oh, and there's the, <laughs> yeah, there's the assembly with the bark dog and shit. <laughs> the bark dog. 
stream it stream the ep for real for real we made it through we, we did so this is the assembly project as you as as you can imagine it's just where we like this is where the ep was mastered so all the mastering stuff is here mm -hmm. and it's where we did all the like renders so the render for could you started technically before the project file for could you starts so it's here and ends a little bit before the project ends because technically this here is the end of could you but it's also just the beginning of onwards So like that's that's how we assembled everything. It's the same thing I did for the talk EP for the middle three tracks, and then we also have this recording here, which is like the transition from Allo to Could You is just Magic and I talking, and I think this is a like this this goes on for a little bit. Like this conversation was just like oh yeah barking. yeah. <laughs> you said like, oh really? my dog's barking like my dog's barking. No, stop. Stop. <laughs> stop barking. No, I can, you can hear her. I don't know if you can on your end, imagine, but like, listen, listen. No. <laughs> no. <stop>. Yeah. <laughs> no. Look, we can have we can have the bark dog, the dog, the bark dog. <laughs> okay. We we can have the dog bark in there. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, bark dog. We can have the bark, the bark dog. dog. The bark dog. <laughs> the bark. Okay. <laughs> we can have the dog bark in there. It doesn't really matter. Why not? All right. So let me let's do a little bit of silence, and I'll just be like, "All right, so what should we do now?" Yeah, can you keep a secret. I think I I it was like, what what did I say here? And I'll just be like, "All right, so that's three tracks. What should we do now?" Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> I took that <laughs> bit out because it's three no tracks. longer three tracks. It's not three. <laughs> um, I'll just be like, "All right, so what should we do now?" Yeah, can you keep a secret? That's funny. Um, but yeah, so that's. That's the transition between the songs. And then there's obviously, I, I took, I think, a rim shot or something from Could You and I reversed, reverse reverbed it. It might have been my vocal. Yeah, it's actually just the beginning of the song. It's the hey. Hey. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, and that's the transition. Oh, I also yep. low passed, oh no, I didn't low pass the end of Aloe. One thing we decided, I think, before we made the EP, or like maybe like at the very beginning stages, that we wanted it to be continuous. So yes. like that's why like these transitions are like this. Even though the songs were made like completely separately, we made sure that we could. I think yeah, we we made sure that we would be able to make them continuous. I um have the first version of the. This is the first version of the EP assembly. Like the oh, original order, so cute. With four tracks back then, because this track here, which used to be called "Burnt Out," is now. Um, oh no way! This is the. Um, yeah, this is. On you, yeah. This is waiting on you. So originally, the order of the tracks was "Onward," which is now "Burnt Out," followed by "Burnt Out," which is now "Waiting on You," followed by "Allo," followed by "Could You" at the end of the EP. The and the transition into yep. "Allo" was completely different. I, I just want to hear so. Onward, the turn into burnt out ended, you know, there's this little, there's that whole thing in the piano outro, and then it went like this. Thunder. And this is what, I mean, we showed the original vocal version of, uh, of Waiting on You in that breakdown stream, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it went into... And there's Waiting on You, or at the time, Burnt Out. Yeah. So then there's the end of that song, and Aloe started like this. And that's how the song transitioned. And then Aloda Could You stayed the same, obviously, because that one was still preserved. So essentially what happened yeah. is this track just went away and this track moved from here to here. <laughs> 
and that's that's what happened um yeah but yeah what an era what an era man i'm nostalgic for it like now yeah for sure it's crazy it really is <clears throat> but yeah so that's that's the burnt out ep it is um the vox on that early version of waiting on you oh the original yeah. version i mean they weren't bad but I'm, the yeah, final I'm ones are way better for sure shout out Hanary to henry shout out to daphne um yes. yeah man i'm pretty yeah pretty stoked with it you know Insane, oh, we were pretty dude. cracked on the sticks for this one. We were pretty cracked on the Ableton dog. <laughs> cracked on the daw. Cracked in the daw, bro. <laughs> we were oh, absolutely man. nuts with it. Cracked in the daw. Yeah. So, um, no yeah. If you guys have any questions regarding the entire EP or any of the tracks in them, ask them now. Or how I like my eggs. That's also one you can ask. Yeah, any questions? What do you know about it, bro? <laughs> My neck That's is the point of the Q and so a. bad. Your neck? Yeah. Burnt out too? Burnt out too? Burnt out too? Lit up? <laughs> <laughs> Lit up? The redemption arc. <laughs> uh, burnt out three? <laughs> how do you like your eggs i think for me either just like a regular old sunny side up fried egg or scrambled yeah i like over easy eggs under hard not a question <laughs> thanks for your music really love it thank you glad you like the the music and the ep yes thank you danke schön oh, bitter um yup um yeah yup yup the could you video by major is super nice really like the ableton file playing in the background yeah so okay so the the video by major we asked we asked major to do it <laughs> like okay the release plans for this ep were a fucking mess so we were talking <laughs> no, to a, were. The, we were talking to a label for a long time at the end of 2020 and start of 2021 and we were under the impression that they were going to sign the ep if we made a few changes to the songs which we weren't too happy about but one of those changes was adding emia to allo so all's well that ends well but um so we were go we were going to release with this label and then halfway th mind you the plan was to release this at the end of march uh, which yeah. we kind of achieved we went like early april but Plan was always to release it at the end of March. And in mid-January, the label rep calls my manager and essentially tells him, yeah, so the EP is off. We're actually not going to sign it. And so, and so we're just completely caught by surprise. And we're like, well, what the, what the fuck? <laughs> right? Yeah. Like we've been... I mean, like it was, like, it was, we were surprised, but not, I mean, what was it that we said? We were like disappointed, but not surprised. Right. I was, I think disappointed I had been for a while because they kept asking us to change shit and like that's whack. But yeah. like, so I was surprised that out of nowhere they just told us actually the project is off because under I mean what the guy had told us, and no shade to him right because it was a misunderstanding and shit like that. But obviously like it was kind of shitty from for for us was just like our impression was if we make those changes we're good to go. At least that was my right. and Adam's impression was you know, if you make these changes, we're good to go. And then we made the changes right. and then they were like, actually bye. And, um, that was really whack. And so we had to start from scratch, basically planning and everything. And we had to send, you know, press releases ourselves and, and everything like that. Um, but yeah, so f for the, oh, we originally wanted to do a, a remix competition for the ep oh yeah we in, had an idea for a remix competition yeah. in partnership with a particular discord server but they the discord server weren't down to do it so we ended up not doing that but it's fine um we asked major to make a lyric video 
like a month and a half before and I genuinely did not receive the lyric video until Thursday, the day before release, <laughs> which is, you know, it's fine. And Major had a lot of work on their on their on their hands, and I understand. Uh, yeah. It was just very stressful on my part because, like, the moment that I got and like the the render fucked up, so I have a version of the music video that's just missing the last thirty seconds of the song. <laughs> really, <clears throat> and um. That's what I used to make the teaser, the like the Wednesday teaser. That's what I used. Yeah. And like I had to do it in the middle of my Wednesday night stream. I don't know if anybody was there, <laughs> but I was making mu- I was making that IDM track and then I got the file and I was like, "Okay guys, I have to do this cuz I have to post this teaser today." Uh and so I just edited the teaser in the middle of the <laughs> of the stream and then went back to <laughs> making the that music. Happened. Yeah, yeah, I'll find the link for you <laughs> no and you can way. see it happen. But um yeah so it was all it was all very stressful the artwork was also stressful because it had been a year since we made the ep and it was difficult to find visuals that fit with what we wanted but thankfully my friend had taken that photo of me just playing guitar in front of my computer and it around that time it was a few months after the ep was made but around it was the same vibe so it was in my old apartment as Mm -hmm. well so yeah um but yeah, so the, the, the whole release process for this was an absolute mess. But I'm really happy with how the release turned out. And it seems like, you know, people seem to be enjoying it because we hit 20,000 streams on release weekend. That's insane. We're almost at 30,000 like the... streams already over the whole EP. I know. I mean, that's you... like the most engaging I've got in like anything. Yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. crazy. So thank you for, for, you know, listening and enjoying, and I hope you will continue to do that. Um, Indeed. Yeah. Magent, anything to say? Man, I'm just so happy this is finally out and that, like, the whole thing happened. It just, like, looking back on it, it just seems like such, like, a, like, it couldn't have happened at any other point in time. Yeah. It's just, like, such a nice relic of that little period. Yeah, for sure. I also think um it's ironic because like this time last year when we were we had just finished making the ep you didn't have that much experience with the music industry (laughs) like you had been you had done mostly independent releases that you would just put out and and yeah like only independent releases yeah 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 and um and i remember we made the ep in an entire in like one week and i was like watch it take a year to come out and it literally did. And it did. <laughs> uh, and also, the, at first it was going to come out under Charlie, wasn't it? Yes. Originally, it was going to be Charlie and Magent, not Doom and Magent. But then my managers were like, why? 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 <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I was like, huh. Hadn't really thought about, about it like that. <laughs> and so I was like, fuck it. Doom huh. time. Um, yep. But yeah. What a crazy little adventure it's been. Also... Big up Magnet for being 17 and getting like six new music Fridays on release day. <laughs> that's Dude, pretty I crazy. Mean, most of that's, that is crazy. And like most of it, I, I don't like, I mean, I'm not in Singapore. So like I, I can only attribute that to like mostly like year management. Right. Yeah. But still like that's crazy. Yeah. Also, you were on the cover of a Spotify editorial. That is, that's true. It was pretty crazy. That's insane. I still am, I think. I think until, you're still you're still on it. Until, yeah, Ryzen until, 65. Until Friday. Uh, was Long Weekend created before or after this EP? Way before. Before, like, January. It was created in, like, late December, early January. This, and It was interesting. I think this EP is, like, what also just, like, solidified our friendship. Oh, for sure. Because we made Long Weekend together, and we had, like, interacted a little bit, but we didn't really talk that much. And then lockdown came and, um, and yeah, there I am <laughs> rising 65, um, Man. lockdown came and you, me, um, Taka and Winnie started hanging out in VC all the time. And then we made this EP and it was like, wow, now we're talking. And since then we've talked almost every day. You know, you know, at least yeah. at least three times a week. There's a couple messages that come by, even if it's just a fucking meme. But yeah, <laughs> yep. 
<laughs> like we we I I feel comfortable in in you know saying that you are a close friend of mine. <laughs> oh, absolutely. And I attribute yeah. I attribute a lot of that to the process of making this EP the... with you and the that time. Yeah. But yeah, anyway, with that being said, uh, do you have anything to plug that's coming up soon? Ooh, um, not really, no. I, I guess, I don't know if I can like officially say this, but I have a remix coming out. Oh, um, is this the one? The this summer sometime. Yeah. I, I, it's not like, I, I think it's public that like I won a remix contest, but yeah. it's, um, my imagery remix is officially coming out like sometime June, this summer. June, right? Or June. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mine's coming late out June, in Late June, I think is the date. Mine's late yeah. May. That's so the next. Oh, also, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, <laughs> um, there's this. I also did this collab with a guy named Sound Patrol. Um, that song's coming out like next week, I think. Oh wow! But like, it's like, it's it's kind of cool. I it, it's cool. It's just like a little house thing. <laughs> nice. But yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, as for me. I have all of my releases almost finished. Yeah, they're basically almost all done for the year, but I don't know when they're coming out. Uh, but the next one should be, other than, I mean, like, Charlie's stuff is going to come out whenever it fucking comes out, but in terms of uh, Dumu stuff, the next release should be sometime in either June or July. And then when that one comes out, it's going to be a stream of releases almost every month until the end of the year. Um, and then... You guys are in for a treat. Yeah, it's a uh, it's it's that second EP I mentioned in the tweet in my ratio war with Sharin at the start of the year. Um, <laughs> oh, he said I had two EPs coming out this year, so that's one of them. Burnt out. Check the second one's coming out at the end of the year, and it's a it's it's been done. It's been done, but I'm it's, taking my time to release really it good. because uh, I want it to be special. Um. With that being said, I think we're going to end the stream here right on two hours. Thank you guys so much for, for coming and hanging out. I might rerun yeah. this stream tonight for the people who are used to having my streams at night, plus for Europe people. I think it'll be good. I think that's a thing you can do, yeah. right? You can rerun your stream. Yeah, you can do reruns, yeah. So I'll rerun this, I'll rerun this stream in um, nine hours. Nope, ten hours. I'll rerun the stream in ten hours. So people who in Europe and shit can watch it. Um, but other than that, yeah, thank you guys for coming. And, and I hope you guys will continue to stream the Burnt Out EP and listen to it. It means a lot to both of us. And we hope it means a lot to you as well. Um, yeah. 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 My name is Dumu. I'm here with Magent. And we'll see you guys in the next stream. Peace. Peace. Oh.